from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father Vijay Amirtaraj. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from two donors. The first is the estate of Jose de Martiros, in memory of Jose Pimentel de Martiros, Maria do Rosario de Martiros, and Elizabeth de Martiros. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. The second is an anonymous donor from Lakeland, Florida, for all the intentions of her family. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us turn to God and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul, having traveled throughout Greece, was eager to be in Jerusalem, if possible, on the day of Pentecost. From Miletus, he sent a message to Ephesus, asking the elders of the church to meet him. When the elders came to him, Paul said to them, you yourselves know how I lived among you and the entire time from the first day that I set foot in Asia, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears. And dur during the trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews, I did not shrink from doing anything helpful, proclaiming the message to you and teaching you publicly and from house to house as I testified to both Jews and Greeks about repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus. And now, as a captive to the Spirit, I am on my way to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and persecutions are waiting for me. But I do not count my life of any value to myself if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify to the good news of God's grace. And now I know that none of you, among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom, will ever see my face again. Therefore, I declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole purpose of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Restored your 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours." All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Most of us have heard of Steve Jobs, the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Apple. He died a billionaire at the young age of 56 of cancer. The following words are to, said to be part of what he wrote in his final days, like a farewell speech. And he wrote, I reached 
the pinnacle of success in the business world. However, aside from work, I have little joy. At this moment, lying on my bed and recalling my life, I realize that all the recognition and wealth that I took so much pride in have paled and become meaningless in the face of death. You can employ someone to drive the car for you, make money for you, but you cannot have someone bear your sickness for you. There is one thing that can never be found when it's lost, life. Treasure your love for your family, spouse, and friends. Treat yourself well and cherish others. As we grow older and hopefully wiser, we realize that a $3,000 or a $30 watch both tell the same time. You will realize that your true inner happiness does not come from the material things of the world. Eat your food as medicine. Otherwise, you have to eat medicine as your food. There is a big difference between a human being and being human. Only a few really understand it. You are loved when you are born. You will be loved when you die. In between, you have to manage. The six best doctors in the world are sunlight, rest, exercise, diet, self-confidence, and friends. Maintain them in all stages and enjoy a healthy life. Sisters and brothers, in our readings today, we are given two farewell speeches, like that of Mr. Jobs. In the first reading, we have the emotional parting words of St. Paul to the community of Ephesus, a community he helped to form. Here is Paul saying to the community, I do not count my life to be of any value to me. All I want to do is to complete the mission that Christ has given to me. What a powerful transformation of a man who once was a persecutor of Christ and followers of Christ, a transformation that was only possible by the grace of God, grace that we each of us need in our own calling to be the witnesses of God in the world. And in today's gospel reading, Jesus addresses his heavenly Father as he prepares to take leave of his disciples. And in his address to the Father, Jesus places a twofold prayer. First, he prays for the success of his mission. And second, he prays that all he does may give glory to his heavenly Father, that he may receive life and give that life back to his Father. And now we wonder, what is this life that Jesus is talking about? It is stated clearly in today's gospel. Eternal life is this, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus whom you send. To know God and to know Jesus is to acknowledge their unique presence as a source of our lives and to give glory to them through our lives. Jesus gave glory to God by the way he lived his life, by the way he completed the mission that was entrusted to him. 
And he now prays that we, his followers, may give glory to God through our own life. God is within each of us. And this is a difficult concept for some of us to grasp because sometimes we consider ourselves unworthy of God's love. But God loves us unconditionally, and we use the God-given gift of life to give glory to God each and every day. And so as we come together as a community of faith celebrating this Eucharist, we may pray that God may help us to be faithful to our mission, like St. Paul and the apostles and so many others before us. Amen. And now we offer our prayers to God with faith. Many in the daily TV Mass community have asked that we pray in a special way this month for young people. May they see in Mary's life the courage, faith, and dedication to service to which they are called. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may use our gifts and blessings to help others and to give glory to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for those who are sick in our families, in our communities, and those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, hear us and hear our prayers and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb, one slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the people you have gathered. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to you, said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, but he should be under the roof. But only I'll say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. We gather